Welcome to another episode of Project Super 10. In this episode, we are going to install a new throttle body and we are going to do some things to dress up the engine underneath the hood. Sorry about the wind, it's pretty windy out, but you can see I removed most of the AC. Uh, when I took this half of the HVAC box off, it broke. <laughs> so uh, I've actually found a part on eBay. I'm just waiting for it to get here. It's for an S10 that only had heat, that didn't have AC. So instead of having, you know, this big box, it'll just have the blower and it just comes straight across over here. Um, you'll probably notice this great big hose right here. That was to get rid of the quick connection fitting. I don't know if you can see down there now. It's just a, you know, a screw-in fitting with a barb. Uh, it's for the heater core. It had this quick connection like this, and this is what screwed into the engine, and it was just a quick connection, and it leaked constantly, and instead of just replacing it with another one, uh, I went ahead and just went with a screw-on barb type to get rid of this metal pipe, because this just went up and over the valve cover, and the reason why I'm changing that is so I can go up a little bit higher and over, because you might notice that the valve covers are not attached. Um, I've got new valve covers and uh, the new throttle body. I went through, cleaned the EGR valve, new intake gaskets. Uh, I'm still working on cleaning up some of the wiring. I'm going through and getting rid of what wiring was used for uh, like AC and all that stuff and other stuff that isn't being used. And over here, I got rid of the cruise control. Uh, so we've got some room freed up over here. I'm just trying to kind of declutter everything. I got rid of the siren that was over here. Somebody commented and thought it was a uh, PA speaker, which then when they said that, I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. It probably is a PA speaker. Um, but I unhooked it and uh, well, I unbolted it and I took it over to the battery and touched the two wires onto the battery and it's uh, an alarm siren. What do you guys think? I've got to figure out what to do with my stud up here because that's actually a different thread pattern than most of your normal uh, air cleaner nuts. So I just uh, had to reuse my old one. So I know that looks kind of funky. I think the rest of it looks really cool. Like these valve covers are massive. Like I can't really, let me see if I can get the camera down here. Like how tall these things are. I'd like to see if I could find another hex kind of stud like that. That would go up here. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think. If uh, it looks better or worse. I know this looks worse over here because I don't have uh, half of my heater box over here, but I'm waiting on a part for that. I know I didn't do much video-wise on, you know, installing all of the new stuff, but it was kind of one of those things, like a spur of the moment, and I just, actually it started with cleaning up some wiring. Um, go back out here in the wind, but it started with cleaning up some of this wiring, and then I noticed and leaky valve covers, and uh, it just kind of went from there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to go into my channel, check out a couple other videos. I've got all kinds of different stuff in there. I've got videos on this truck, on that Jeep, and then the Jeep across the street there. So make sure to check out a couple of those videos. I've got reviews and how-tos and all that stuff too. So make sure to go in there and check a few of those out. If you find one that you like, hit the like button. If you have something to say, leave it down in the comments. And if you find a couple videos that you like, don't forget to subscribe to my channel.